Hello everyone, welcome to another video on system design. I'm Jasmine and today we'll be continuing the last lecture that we discussed on system design and take it to the next level. In the last lecture, we discussed a little bit about system design and its requirement, functional and non-functional. But in today's lecture, we'll discuss high level design, key components of system design, data flow and use cases and lastly, if the time allows, we'll discuss scalability consideration. So without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. After we know what our system needs to do, the next big step is to plan out a bigger picture of how all the things will work together. This is basically high level design. So high level design is like a blueprint of how different parts of the system will communicate with each other and work together. Let's understand with a very easy example. Suppose you are building a city. In your city, you will need roads to connect the neighborhoods. You will need houses for people to live in. And thirdly, you will need a storehouse or a warehouse to collect all the materials that people need. So in this example, our storehouse or the warehouse is our database. Our roads that are connecting neighborhoods are the requests that user sends. The houses where people are living are the different servers. This was just a basic example. When we talk about our app, in our app, we have to figure out how different part of our app will connect and interact with each other. This is the main purpose of high level design. One basic setup is the client server model. Now think of a client as your device like your phone or your PC that sends requests like watching a video or sending a message. Now this message of watching a video is sent to the server. The server now acts as a part of a receiver who receives these requests and sends back what you need. Let's say we are designing a video sharing platform like YouTube. In this, we'll need servers to handle user requests and interaction. Next, we'll need a database to store all the videos and user data. And lastly, we will need a CDN, Content Delivery Network, to deliver videos quickly and smoothly so that a user doesn't experience any lag. This was it for high level design. Let's move on to another big topic that is key components of system design. Now let's look at the main part of our system. Think of these as the tools that are necessary to make sure that our system runs smoothly. In this, we will talk about database, cache, load balancer and API gateway. So let's go through each one of them very briefly. Let's first discuss about database. Database is where we store all our information. Think of it as a library where you keep the records of all the important stuff and information like user information or user data. When we talk about database, there are basically two types of database. Number one is SQL and number second is NoSQL. SQL database is used for structured data, for storing structured data. And for more flexible data, we used, for more flexible data, we use NoSQL databases. That was it for database. Now the second part is load balancer. Now load balancer makes sure that all the parts of the systems work evenly without getting overwhelmed. Now like in a previous video we discussed an example of cafe. Now imagine you have opened the cafe and cafe bhai bahut hi tagra chal raha hai, ek dam chal raha hai. Ab kya hoga? Ab us cafe mein jo manager hoga, wo kaam karega load balancer ka. Kyun kaam karega? Kyunki manager jo hota hai, wo direct karega people ko ki this is your sitting place, you can sit here, this place is vacant and you can order and whatever they, whatever the people want to do, okay? So this will help that the cafe is not overcrowded. order place So in simple word, load balancer works like a manager so that each and every part of the system is working efficiently without getting overcrowded or overburdened. So in simple term, a load balancer prevents overcrowding of any particular server. It prevents any single server from getting overwhelmed with too much traffic. This is the work of load balancer. Simple as that. Okay. The third one is cache. Now it is like a quick access storage of our data that we often need. Now see what cache is with a very simple example. Suppose we open YouTube. Okay. In YouTube, chalo mujhe jaise koi song dhoonna hai. Agar main honey sing daalti hoon. 
ठीक है डन सो दिस थिंग टुक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू सर्च ओके द सर्वर टुक अ लॉट ऑफ टाइम टू सर्च बट नाउ इफ आई लकीन सर्च द सेम थिंग वी सॉ दैट कितनी जल्दी वो लोड हो गया पेज तो मतलब कि जो मैंने चीज सर्च करी थी वो उनकी कैशे मेमोरी में सर्वर की सेव हो गई थी सो दिस इज सिंपली वॉट कैशे इज नाउ वी सॉ विद दिस एग्जाम्पल दैट हाउ क्विकली द सर्वर रिस्पॉन्डेड टू माई सेकेंड रिक्वेस्ट वेन आई वॉज सर्चिंग फॉर द सेम थिंग द कैशे सिंपली हेल्प फॉर द फास्ट लोडिंग ऑफ अ थिंग दैट दैट द यूजर और आई एम अ यूजर आर सर्चिंग फॉर ओके तो वेन अ यूजर वॉन्ट दी सेम इन्फॉर्मेशन लाइक रिसेंट मैसेजेस और इन द करेंट एग्जाम्पल लाइक रिसेंट सर्च हिस्ट्री the cache loads that thing very quickly when the user again searches for it without going to the main database otherwise agar cache nahi hoga to server ko what the server will do is wo bar bar database pe ja ja kar ke aayega and the spawn load time would be high and the user would eventually get frustrated okay this was it for cache now let's understand all these three thing with a very easy example suppose we have a chat app now in chat app we have database that will store all our messages now after that we'll have a load balancer that will help user access app very smoothly and thirdly we'll have the cache store your cache memory a cache that will hold on to the stored messages so that they appear fast whenever the user want to access them so these were the key components now coming on to the next topic that is data flow and use cases now let's talk about data flow and use cases jaise naam humko bata raha hai data flow simple hai ki kaise information hamare system mein travel karti hai simply how information moves around in our system this is what data flow is and when we talk about use cases use cases is how data travels through the system for different situation okay when we talk about use cases use cases are specific actions that a user might take like logging in or watching a video so simple actions jo user leta hai hamare system pe usko hum use case bolte hain aur usi action ke liye jo information ka flow hota hai hamare system mein usko hum data flow bolte hain as simple as that now let's understand data flow and use cases with the very important examples that is asked in majority of the interview rounds that is url shortener we'll see how the data flows in this particular example now in a url shortener when a user clicks a short link okay request is sent to the server okay the server then search or look up the original url in the database or the db okay and once the server figure out the exact url it sends the request back to the user and making the user visit that exact pay web page that the user was looking for that the user was looking for so in simple term the flow is this यूजर एक रिक्वेस्ट सेंड करता है सर्वर को ठीक है सर्वर देन डेटाबेस पे जाता है सर्च करने के लिए और डेटाबेस से वो रिक्वेस्ट जो होती है वापस बैक टू द यूजर हो जाता है दिस वाज सिंपल फॉर डेटा फ्लो एंड यूज केसेस दैट्स इट फॉर दिस वीडियो इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो वील डिस्कस स्किलबिलिटी कंसिडरेशन इफ यू फाउंड दिस वीडियो हेल्पफुल शेयर विद योर फ्रेंड्स 
and don't forget to subscribe to the channel